Within this front cover of Q magazine, we can see many codes and conventions that are evident on a front cover of a magazine. One of these codes that we can see in the masthead is usually placed at the top of the page, which we can see where the Q is. The masthead also has quite a unique font that no other text in the mas in the magazine has. In addition, it, al it also is the biggest font on the magazine, so that it stands out to the reader. Another convention that we can see within the magazine is the use of cover lines. Cover lines are usually placed at the side around the main image so that they are not covering the main image's face. This can be seen on the Q magazine where the cover lines are not covering the main image's face. The cover line gives information on the articles by doing this. The reader will be able to have a first look at the articles that are within the magazine. Within this magazine, we can also see a third conversation convention. This is the main cover line. The main cover line links to the main image, and this signifies that they are the main article. That they are the main article in the magazine. The main cover line is usually placed in the middle of the front cover. Also, the main cover line is the biggest cover line on the front cover. Finally, on this magazine there is a barcode. The barcode is usually found at the bottom of the front cover as it looks neat and professional plus it is tucked away. This also means that you can see more of the front cover without having to look at the price of the magazine. In addition to this we can see the use of secondary images as they are used when the beetles are mentioned within one of the cover lines. This appeals to the audience as it brings in intertextuality. Within the skyline at the top of the page we can see the positioning statement of this Q magazine. The, the UK's biggest music magazine. This is the positioning statement of Q magazine. This appeals to the audience as it has connotations of dominance, as it is saying that it is the biggest UK magazine, biggest UK music magazine within this Q magazine front cover we can also see the use of buzzwords like nut jobs. These are types of words um, that are used so that it will make the reader curious of who the who are these nut jobs making the buzzwords appeal to them. Furthermore, another convention that is evident within this front cover is a banner. A banner is placed under the main cover line. This is used to make the article look more enticing or give a hint on what will be featuring within the article. This will appeal to the audience as it allows them to get a closer look on the main article and what will be within it. Finally, this um, Q front cover conveys the genre of rock in many ways. These ways are the use of the word rock, one of the other cover lines. Um, this this conveys that the genre of this issue is the rock genre. Another signification is the use of instruments to cause destruction. This is a key use of the rock genre as it shows how the music is destructive and free making. This is a genre convention. This is a key genre convention. This will appeal to the audience as it connotes the freedom of doing whatever you want with no regrets that the rock genre always betrays. Finally, there are two more genre conventions that are evident within this front cover. These are the use of colour and hairstyle of the artist. The colour that are used, such as the red, white and black, conveys the rock genre as these colours come with the connotations of anger for red, darkness for black and liberty for white. Together these colours give the signification of the rock genre. The hairstyle that you can see within this magazine front cover shows that the long hair with the, that is frizzy will show significant signification of the rock genre. On the front, on the front cover the issue information is placed next to the barcode. as it is just extra information for the main readers who want to know which issue they are buying and if they have missed out on any of the other issues. We can also see the main image within this Kerrang front cover.
The main image can be shown in the middle of the magazine cover where the lead singer is covering his mouth. The main image will also signify the magazine's genre by the main image's facial expressions. This will appeal to the audience as it shows who the main cover line is about, but also the emotion the article conveys, like shock. The facial expressions of the main image signifies the rock genre as he has his hand around his mouth and is shot by, by doing so he's giving con connotations of the rock genre. Another convention that we can see in this magazine is the convention of buzzwords that was previously shown in the um, Q magazine. A buzzword is an emotive word like kill or exciting and it can be found usually in the quote from the article. It is used to give a shock and awe feeling to the article which will appear more to the reader as they will want to know why it is urgent. Also, the buzzwords will usually try not to be covering the main image, it will, as it will mean that the viewers will not know who the buzzword is about. This will appeal to the audience as it shows connotations of emotion within the word. Furthermore, the skyline, which can be seen in the magazine, is a section at the top of the page where the positioning statement usually is placed. This is used as it is the optimum spot for the magazine to have something important tucked away but is still visible for the reader. The skyline will appeal to the audience as it's making sure that the reader can still see all of the information on the magazine. Another convention is still evident within this magazine. That convention is the secondary images. These are used to give a bigger look on a certain cover line. Like in this Kerrang! magazine, we can see the cover line Foo Fighters inside the US upcoming gig. This, can, this has the secondary images around it to support the cover line. This will appeal to the audience as they see more of the band. Puffs are also evident within this magazine. Puffs are eye-catching shapes with text inside them. We can see one on the right of the magazine where the shape is like a star. This, is, this has the word win emphasised on it and this signifies that the puff is used as an incentive within the magazine as it's trying to get the reader interested in the chance to win a prize. This will appeal to the audience as it conveys a chance to get a prize which most people want to try and see if they can win making them want to buy the magazine. In addition we can see the use of other cover lines on the left side of the magazine. This is advertising the other articles on the magazine, like within the Kerrang! magazine. We can see the cover line, Coaster Split, Josh Holmes Speaks. This will appeal to the audience as it connotes the feeling of mystery as it will want to know, as you will want to know why and if they are splitting up, making the reader want to buy the article. Here we can also see the main image is using direct address. This is when the main image is looking straight at the reader. This will appeal to the audience as it makes them feel like they are talking to the main image as they are looking right at the reader. At the top of the page we can see the masthead. Is, this is the brand that you are reading. Like this one is Kerrang! This will also allow the reader to look at the magazine and see which brand they are looking at. This will appeal to the audience as it allows them to look at the brand and rate it within their own respects. As the very bottom of the page we can see a banner with text inside. This is used to add extra information about the certain issues, like issues of the Kerrang! magazine. This will appeal to the audience as it will give the reader more information. How style is it? The text, font, the colour scheme used and the text colour that is used. The house style of this magazine connotes the music genre of rock. It does this as it uses the colours of black, red, black and red which are both signs of anger and darkness. Meaning that the magazine is a rock magazine. The style of language within this magazine is how they choose their words, like this is really scary. This example shows that the style of language that they are using holds connotations of rock as it shows the world.
the word scurry, which stereotypically signifies the rock genre. This will appeal to the audience as they will enjoy the connection to the rock genre. Usually an eye-catching shape with a bright colour is a puff as it stands out to the viewer as they are trying to catch, to catch the eye of the reader. We can see this in this example of the Rock Sound magazine. The text within the puff is usually an incentive with an eye-catching word like win. This is shown within the Rock Sound magazine as there is a yellow circled puff saying win. Another convention is the price of the magazine. The price is usually found next to the barcode on the bottom of the page so that it's tucked away. This means that the potential buyer will not be too worried about the price. They can't see it without looking for it. If their price is not shown within the barcode, then it is usually found within a puff to show off a discount for the magazine. But this is not in every issue. Finally, the, another convention within a magazine front cover is the house style of the magazine. The house style of this magazine is the font is the font that is shown throughout the magazine except for the masthead. But the font can also change when the convention allows it. But when it is not a convention to have a unique font, then the font will be used throughout the magazine. The house style is also the colour scheme of the magazine, as you can see with the black, white and red colours of rock sound magazine. These colours can also have connotations of the type of genre of the magazine, like these colours signify the genre of rock. At the very top we can see the masthead, which shows us the brand of the magazine, which is rock sound. This is where the masthead is usually placed. This will appeal to the audience as the brand shows denotations of the rock genre as the masthead has rock in the title. We also have the positioning statement at the very top within the skyline. The positioning statement is used here to give the magazine a better title like Best of Britain, but this positioning statement is used here to give the magazine a better title like Best of Britain, but this positioning statement says music with attitude. This gives connotations of the rock genre as the word attitude is evident which gives off a link to the rock genre. This will appeal to the audience as it will make them feel like they are part of the rebellion. The skyline is also evident as it has the positioning statement within it which is its usual use. It is placed above the masthead. This will appeal to the audience as it gives them more information without having to cover up the main image. Under the masthead we can see the main cover line which connects to the main article within the magazine. This main cover line connotes the rock genre as it talks about being the ultimate outcast. And this will appeal to the target audience as it connects to the wide audience within the rock audience. A feeling like the outcast. In addition to the main cover line, we can see the other cover lines that have links to the other articles within the magazine. These cover lines are usually placed at the sides of the magazine the sides of the main image as we can see in this rock sound magazine. This will appeal to the audience as it shows connotations of the rock genre as the text is in the colour red. Above the right cover lines we can see the use of puffs that we like that we've seen before. Furthermore under the right cover line we can see the use of secondary images. They are used so that you are able to have a glimpse of other bands that may be featured within the magazine. This will appeal to the audience as they will be happy to see images of the bands that they may like that are within the magazine. Finally, another convention within this cover is the house style. This is the font style, colour scheme and size in one convention. This house style will appeal to the audience as it has huge connotations of the rock genre. This is evident as we can see the use of black and red throughout the magazine cover which makes the reader see these colours as anger for red and darkness for black which are huge stereotypical features within the rock genre. So the audience will like the house style as it has these connotations of rock.